Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to be introducing the second focus study for the HSC General 2 course, Mathematics and Resources, often referred to as um, Household Resources as well. Um, okay, so what we're looking at today's lesson is looking at the chapter or the, uh, the exercise on water availability. Um, the two main areas for water availability will look at questions to do with rainfall, and also uh, questions to do with water tanks, but they can also vary. Um, just in terms of the uh, the focus studies, as uh, mentioned in the uh, general uh, course for U11 for the prelim, in terms of the focus studies, the main areas that are tested are things to do with like rates, um, other types of measurements such as I guess area and volume, um, capacity is. Is, is very popular and also uh, things to do with I guess uh, we've got formulas and also costs running costs I guess so there are I guess three main concepts that often come up within uh, the focus study areas and you'll see that particularly the household resources that you'll find that this is quite common. They'll be pretty easy today. It's two easy questions that we're looking at. The first is looking at rainfall um, and this is just looking at a very straightforward graph and being able to first of all identify main areas and then answer a few questions off that. So the first question says what was the annual rainfall for Newcastle in 2009? Well Newcastle is in blue um, as opposed to the Wollongong which is in red. So in this question for part A we're looking for the annual rainfall of Newcastle. So uh, we're looking for the blue in 2009. So I'm going to locate 2009 and go up to where we can see it. Notice it's just above the blue line there. I'm going to go across, which would be 900 and not 1,000. Halfway between, that would be 950. A little bit above, I'd probably say 960. It's in millimetres, as can be seen on the y-axis. So I've got my answer there. For part B, which was the wettest year? during the 10-year period for Wollongong, for the red line. Well, the wettest year is going to be the highest point for the rainfall. I can just see it above here. Now, that's going to be about 1460 millimetres, but we're looking for the actual year that, that occurs in, and that is in the year 2007, which brings us to the last question, which says, which year has the largest difference in annual rainfall? Well, the difference between Newcastle and Wollongong will be the gap between them. For example, if we look at the distance here, which is quite big, um, we've got, actually this one's bigger, isn't it? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and just a smidgen across than 7. Um, this one here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a little bit over 7.5. And, and this one is 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one looks like to be the biggest gap, which will be in the year 2010. So three fairly straightforward questions. It brings us into the second example, um, which says a water tank is in the shape of a closed cylinder with a radius of two meters and a height of four meters. Determine the maximum volume of the water tank. Okay, now I have a slight issue with the textbook with this particular question because I'm going to do the answer just slightly different. And the reason I do that is because of that word maximum. Now the way the textbook does it, they do it as if it just is the volume of the water tank. So what is the volume of the water tank? Well, the volume is given by area times height or depth. In this case, the area of the uh, of the base or of the cross section is the circle, so it's pi r squared times the height. Now, why do I do it slightly different? Well, if I was following the textbook um, for the volume of the water tank, it would just be substituting in my values for r equals 2 meters and the height equals 4 meters. If we do the textbook's version, we get pi times 2 squared times 4, and then that will generate an answer of 50.265482 dot dot dot. Now it says 
for three decimal places, so 50.265. So how would I do this question? Well, when I say that word maximum, it kind of brings my memory, drops my memory back to when we're doing things like precision and error because we could have a maximum or we could have a minimum error um, depending upon that. So my precision in this case would be one meter. The error we would say would be half of the precision either side, so it's plus 0 0.5 meters. Therefore for me when I'm doing my volume I would be doing pi times 2.5 squared times the height of 4.5 to generate that answer. Now that's the way I would do it because of that word maximum. Um, so that's up to you and how you do that question, I guess. But certainly I think because it has a word maximum, I believe that it should be done in this format to give a more precise answer for the biggest possible volume it could be. Um, however, as I said, the textbook just did it as if that word wasn't there and that it was determined the volume of the water tank. Okay, so that's part A. So whichever version you'd like to go, that's up to you. Part B, what is the capacity of the tank to the nearest litre? Well, that should be pretty straightforward. That isn't debatable. One metre cubed is, has a capacity of 1,000 litres. Therefore, 50.265 metres cubed would be simply 50.265 times 1,000 litres, which gives us a value of 50,265 litres to the nearest litre. Um, that is pretty much it for uh, the work upon... Uh, upon the, uh, the water availability with rainfall and water tanks. This will be a fairly quick uh, focus study topic. I'm going to break them up into each sort of uh, exercise. But go through, do exercise uh, 14A, and then hopefully you'll get the gist of, of how to look at these questions. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next installment.